What is up, YouTube? Dots Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you guys a quick guide on how to level up your Mages Guild, Fighters Guild, and Undaunted in the Elder Scrolls Online. So I know to many people this may seem like a really basic concept on how to level these three guilds and maybe not worth a video, but I can't tell you guys how many people have come into my streams and have asked me in YouTube comments and on Discord, what is the best way to level these three guilds? So I figured, you know what, we'll make a quick beginner guide covering these today, especially because the base game guilds are so closely tied to your character's power and progression. Finding the most efficient way to level these up is really important so that you can spend your time playing and less time just grinding up. So we'll start with the Mages Guild. The Mages Guild is probably the easiest one to explain. The Mages Guild is obviously done by doing a very mentally stimulating activity, and that is just literally running around and collecting lore books. That's all you have to do. But you can be a little bit more efficient when you collect these lore books than just haphazardly picking them up as you stumble upon them. If you go zone by zone by zone, that is the most efficient way to do it. Even if there's a lore book that's super out of the way, go get it. And the reason is that every single time you complete a lore book chapter or series, I forget what the exact terminology is, but you get a huge boost to your Mage's Guild experience. So you're more likely to find those chapters in those extra books in the series in each zone. So, you know, so each zone has the, those own chapters and series. So if you go zone by zone, when you complete those that lore book series throughout the zone, you will get that massive boost to your Mage's Guild experience. So it just makes it much quicker. Those boosts really, really help out, and you have to collect a lot less lore books uh, because of it. So easy enough. Like I said, just go zone by zone. Very simple way. The next one is going to be the Fighter's Guild. Now, the Fighter's Guild is done by killing Undead, Daedra, or Closing Dark Anchors. So, obviously, a great way to level up the Fighter's Guild is going to be to do Dolmen. So, if you do the Dolmen Trio in Alakir Desert, you can just do that for a couple of, you know, a couple hours, a little bit, and you'll have your Fighter's Guild leveled up. But, let's say you're already leveling up another character, you're grinding up another character, and you want to do the Fighter's Guild at the same time. Doing a grind location that has a ton of undead and zombies is going to, you know, give you the best bang for your buck. So, I'm talking Skyreach, Spellscar, uh, Varent Morass, you know, those popular grind spots that have the undead and Daedra, those are the ones you're going to want to do. So again, very simple. You know, you can either do it while you're grinding in a spot with Undead, or just simply do the Dolmen Trio in Alakir Desert, and in no time you'll have that done. Now, the last one is probably the one I get the most questions on, and is the reason why I saved it to the end. And that is the Undaunted. The Undaunted is something that a lot of people I've talked to haven't done, and in my opinion, it's it's a huge mistake. Because Undaunted gives your character so much power through the Undaunted Metal Passive. For those of you who do not know, at rank 2, it increases your maximum health stamina and magicka by two percent per armor type that you have equipped so let's say you have five pieces of light one medium and one heavy that is six percent additional stats on your character and if you don't have that you are you have six percent less stats than somebody else who does and in my opinion that that's a fair bit that is a fair bit and, and, and you're doing yourself a disservice by not by not having uh the undaunted done so if you want to find a nice and quick way to level it up the best way that I recommend doing it is going through the group dungeons and trying to do the dungeon achievements. I know some people like to do the, the Dolmen dailies grind that the guy at the uh, Undaunted Enclave gives you. It gives you a bunch of quests where you can just do the Dolmen quests, or it's like you go to a Dolmen, do some stuff, and then you turn that in and you get some Undaunted experience. But in my opinion, a less mind-numbing way to do it and a quicker way to do it is to do the dungeon achievements. So what are the dungeon achievements? The dungeon achievements are basically beating the dungeon itself, doing it on hard mode, doing it the speed run, and doing no death. So if you can get a group of players from like, let's say one of your guilds, and you guys start at the top of the list, Fungal Grotto 1, and just work your way down and focus on beating the dungeon, nobody dying, doing it as fast as you can to beat the speed run timer, and doing it on hard mode, you will get a ton of Undaunted experience, and you will have your Undaunted up to level 9, which is only where you need it to get. Getting it to level 10 doesn't really do anything, but getting it up to level 9, and you'll you'll have it done in a couple days. You'll have it done in a couple days. I mean, obviously, if you guys really hammer it out, you guys could do it all in one day. Um, but 
that, you know, especially also doing pledges. I also definitely recommend doing your pledges. Your pledges give you Undaunted experience as well. So definitely do your pledges every single day. But that's how I always level my Undaunted is I do pledges every single day and do the achievements for every dungeon. So if you do it that way, your Undaunted will be to level 10, you know, in no time or level nine rather, in no time, and you will have all of that extra power on your character and you won't be missing out on those stats. But that is it for me today, guys. A very, very quick, simple, and easy guide. Like I said, I've gotten a bunch of questions about this, so I wanted to make sure to cover all my bases and make sure that you guys have this information. And if you did find this helpful, I'd appreciate if you dropped a like on the video. Any questions, leave a comment below. If you guys enjoyed this and want to see more content, please click that sub button. And if you guys want to get videos like this early access, you can click the join button below this video and become a YouTube member. It comes with a ton of perks, so feel free to click on that and take a look. And if you guys also want to support my channel for as little as $1 a month, feel free to check out my Patreon. I have a ton of different tiers there of rewards that you guys can get starting out at as little as a single dollar a month. So again, I want to thank you all so much for stopping by today. I very much appreciate it. As always, I'm Dots Gaming, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.